All right, we want to finish up this uh, Konami Dance Dance Revolution. We're going to be pulling out this timekeeper and replacing it with a socket so the customer can change it when he needs. Let's get into it. So here we have one of these infamous timekeepers with the lithium battery built inside it. That has failed after all these years. We're going to be putting in a socket so the client, he's got some new ones on order and he can change it over himself then. I think this one we're going to go with the low melt solder. Once again, these are older boards. You really want to watch your time and temperature on these things. Let's go to the scope. It's a big chip, I, it's hard to get it in the whole shot. So we'll just keep adding low melt solder to this big chip. Let's go to the overhead. So as we fast forward through this, what I'm doing is I'm not even really touching the board with the iron. Remember this iron is colder, I think I'm at 280. Um, it's double-sided, it's old board. This copper is very sensitive. You could start tearing traces. You're just pushing on the leg of the chip to see that it moves back and forth very freely. It'll transfer the heat down the hole and let that low melt solder get all the way down in there. It'll make it a lot easier to take this chip off. Now, I'm not even touching on the board. I'm worried about getting the pin. So if you get one that's being stubborn, go ahead and go back in, either with just some regular solder or more low melt. Just keep working it. This could be a thicker trace, could be on a ground pad. Don't be afraid to go back in and work those until they're free. So again, that wiggling I'm doing, I'm not even pushing on the board at all. I'm wiggling the leg of the chip. All right, and that got it out. I just pulled it off with my fingers. All right, that got that out. A little tricky. So let's get this socket in there. And what you want to do, first off, get some flux in there. And we're going to tack some corners. Just to get it held into place. So we can look at it and see if it's sitting. Now what I'm going to do is add more flux. Then I'm going to bounce around, around the legs, to spread the heat out. So that you're not heating one spot. Trying to do a random. Except there. <laughs> a little clean up. Check our legs, make sure nothing's bent. 
spit it in solid and start wiggling it oh so slightly back and forth. It'll drop right into that socket. Make sure it's all the way seated. Alright, that's going to wrap it up for this. We got the uh, socket in place. Timekeeper on. You can change it as he needs. Like, subscribe. See you next time.